Wyoming is my favorite place to be, and I know there are a lot of people that feel the same way. But if I'm being completely honest, even the perfect place to live has some challenges that come with it. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with Remax The Group and the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team. As a real estate agent, I pride myself on knowing everything I can about my area. And while there are mostly positives, I do realize there are some things that might be viewed as negative about living here. So let's talk about some of those perceived negatives about living in Wyoming. Say you love shopping, for instance. Some might say that shopping in the Casper area is a challenge. I must disagree though. We may not have a ton of big national chain stores, but what we do have is a wonderful variety of amazing locally owned shops. Some of my very favorite places to shop are right here in Casper, Wyoming. You can see that in the clothes I wear and even in many of the great pieces that I've used to decorate my own home. Of course, shopping local brings so many advantages. The people you're supporting become your friends. The money you spend locally helps your community in so many ways. Whether it's downtown shops or the mom and pop restaurants, it's hard to find someone local who doesn't love what we have to offer here. Once you adjust to the smaller scale shopping, I kind of think you won't miss those big stores as much as you think you will. And you know what? We do have plenty of big box stores here as well, from home improvement stores to regional and national grocery and restaurant chains. We certainly aren't lacking in most anything you might need. If you consider yourself a foodie, you're actually in luck. You might think that small town Wyoming is lacking in the restaurant department. And maybe we don't have everything that the big cities have to offer, but our restaurant selection here is amazing. We have a bustling restaurant scene here in the Casper area. The food is incredible and the atmosphere is supreme. Downtown locations hold festivals and concerts. There are amazing caterers and even fast food. I personally love eating at restaurants, especially after a long day of selling houses. When I don't feel like cooking, my family has no trouble finding somewhere to go and getting something delicious to eat. One really cool thing I love is that since our population is a bit smaller here, a lot of my favorite places actually remember what I like to eat. Can you believe that? Speaking of smaller population, some people think of that as a negative. Really? I love the fact that our entire state is the lowest populated in the country. We rarely have to fight crowds anywhere we go. When we do, even our biggest crowds are smaller than what you'll find in the big cities. Do you know how great it is to be able to take just a couple of minutes and find yourself where no one else is around? Have you thought about how nice it would be to be able to get from anywhere in the city to anywhere else in under 20 minutes, even in bad weather? I live out in the country and I'm still at the office in downtown Casper in around 20 minutes. It is pretty great. Whenever I travel out of town, I enjoy the moment, but I can't wait to get home to Wyoming. With fewer people and the wide open spaces that gives us Wyomingites a lot more breathing room, less traffic, less crowd fighting, this all seems pretty positive to me. I love people. I really am a people person, as you probably know. But I love that when I need a break, I don't have to go very far to get one. Should we talk about the weather? I know, I know. We do have harsh winters around here. The wind, oh my gosh, it really blows. <laughs> Even so, I would take our snowstorms, wind included, over hurricane season any day of the week. You know there has to be something really great here that keeps all of us here year after year in spite of the crazy wind. Thinking about summertime, it's arguably the best time of the year here in Wyoming. Our hottest days are around 95 degrees, wonderfully warm, and that's way cooler than the 120 degrees you might find somewhere else. I can still ride my horses comfortably in Wyoming temperatures. We have sunshine pretty much all year, 10% more than the national average actually, and there are not a lot of rainy days, about a third of the national average which is just enough to quench the thirst of those rain lovers. And with all our sunshine, we often get rainbows along with the rain. They are amazing. We even get a rare tornado touchdown, but nothing like it is in Tornado Alley. So yeah, for some, the weather will be a negative, I admit. But the scales still seem to balance in our favor here in this beautiful state when it comes to the weather. There are probably a few other perceived negatives that could be added to this list, but then I probably left off some of the positives. Wyoming is one of the most beautiful places to be with one of the most welcoming populations to come home to. And I love that. Do you have something to add to this list? Be sure to comment below if you can think of any other negatives of living in Wyoming, and I'll do my best to debunk them if I can. You know, 
Casper Area Real Estate is what I know best. But I do know a lot about Wyoming too because I've lived here for over 40 years. And in spite of the challenges of living here, my love for this state continues to grow. And I want to share that love with you. For more information on Wyoming, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And I would love to help you with your real estate needs. We have time for you. I can't say it enough. I love it here. And remember, I want you to love where you live too.